Hi everybody, my, my name is Tim and uh, today we'll be doing a seared chicken in a, in a sun-dried tomato cream sauce. Um, if you have a restaurant or either if you have a cafe, this, this recipe is a very suitable recipe. Um, even though it is cream based, we are using Anchor's culinary cream and, and if you are doing a takeaway or either if you are doing a delivery, it is a very stable cream and your customers will also be able to heat up um, this dish and the cream will not sleep. Right? Okay, so um, first of all, I have already um, I've already seasoned and also pre-seared the chicken thighs, right? Um, and and as you can see in my pan, I still haven't I still have not washed it yet. Okay. So I'm gonna put some of Anchor's um, unsalted butter. Okay. And then we're gonna milk. Melt the butter down. I didn't wash the pan prior to this purely because um, we want we want all of all of the chicken juices and, and also all of the all of the chicken uh, uh, burn parts inside the pan, right? Okay. So once we have melted the butter, um, garlic goes in. Okay, and as well as peppers, we have red ch chili flakes. You want to just give it a saute it. So once it's pretty good, you can smell all of the smell. Alright. In goes um, oregano. Okay. Paprika. And the sun dried tomatoes, which are really julienne before that. Okay, so we just want to continue to fry it. Alright, so shortly we have a chicken stock. Chicken stock, um, anchors, culinary cream. Okay. And of course, a bit of Parmesan cheese. Alright, so all of the cheese goes in. And then we give it a stir. And then what we want to do is that we want to bring this sauce to, to a boil. Okay. As you can see, um, Anchor's culinary cream is so so stable that, that you can even boil boil it and, and and you wouldn't be afraid that the cream would actually break. Okay, so once we bring it to a boil, right? And then so once we bring it to a boil. Um, the preset chicken, which which I've already seared uh, beforehand, we turn it back to to the pan. Okay, and then what we are gonna do is that we are gonna cook this chicken inside the juices and inside the cream sauce. Of course, if you have a restaurant, you have a cafe, um, you can always do it in a in a very big batch, and then you can put the whole tray of chicken and the sauce inside it, inside the oven. Um, let it bake for for twenty five minutes to to around 30, thirty minutes, right? And then after that, then then what you can do is that you can actually separate the chicken um, from the sauce and portion it out according to the way that it is that you would like to serve it. Okay. Um, also, also, so one of like one of the other few things about the culinary cream is. As I was mentioning just now, earlier on is that um, this is ideal, very ideal to reheat. So which means to say that um, in your restaurant or either in your cafe, if you would like to serve all of the dishes cold to, to your customer, you can also tell them that like, hey, you know, you can you can actually bring it back and then uh, you can also heat it up inside the microwave or inside the oven without worrying about your sauce splitting, 
right? So so that's one thing really really good. The other thing is also is that um, it's also acid stable as well. So um, uh, you can add uh, lemon juice, any vinegar, any kind of uh, citric acid, and it wouldn't split as well. So right, and it's also really really creamy and uh, it's very excellent coating um, consistency as well. So okay. Right, so let's just check back in on the chicken. So today, um, I'm 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 only just doing two two portions of uh, boneless uh, ch ch chicken thigh. Okay, so as it is cooking, I'm also turning the chicken. Right, and so reducing the sauce as well also of course if, if you like you can sort of put uh, uh, carrots and uh, potatoes as well and, um, and then throw everything in the oven and then let it slowly slowly stew um, especially in a restaurant or either in, in a cafe during this covid situation it's um, it's good to prepare everything in it's like a big batch and then and then um, last show and then portion it out so so it helps you in terms of in terms of uh, in terms of takeaway and in terms of like deliveries as well so. see the cream has start, starting to thicken a bit okay. and you can see that the that the cream is still not splitting you know it's still very stable Right, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to just take out one portion of the chicken to here and then the other one we're going to put it inside a takeaway container. Right, so what you can do is that um, imagine you have already prepared uh, maybe two, 20, 20 pieces of chicken. So what you can do is that you can separate the chicken and the sauce. Okay, and then when it's time to serve So once the cream has already, once the, once the sauce has already taken and it has reduced as well also, in goes a bit of lemon juice, okay, and fresh herbs. Um, today I am using parsley, but of course you can always use like basil or any other kinds of herbs, fresh herbs, just to give it a nicer smell. I was saying just now, um, if you if you separate out your meat and, and your sauce, you can always um, you can always chill this sauce inside your fridge and then portion it out. Um, again, this this is this anchors culinary cream is very suitable for for reheating and it's also very stable. So it doesn't matter if you were to prepare this sauce three days, four days beforehand, it's still very stable and it wouldn't split. Right? So I'm just gonna serve it. We're gonna put some sauce over. Okay. Then maybe just a sprinkle of like a bit more fresh herbs. That's it. You're done. <laughs> 